perhaps the most valuable thing that I could share with you is this one idea of the difference between a game community and a play community. The game community is a community that's focused on a particular game where the object, of course, is to be the best at the game, to win the game. You have rules and officials who decide if the players are good enough to play. And if not, they change the players to find better ones. In the play community, the whole focus is playing together. And in this community, the players decide if the game is fun enough. And if the game isn't fun enough, they change the game because it's easier to change the game than it is to change the players. <laughs> Think about that for us then. If you can remember that, we all get trapped in the game community. The game community gets funded. The play community is for free and freeing. You can reestablish that contract with each other that we're here to play together, to play together. It's about our enjoyment, our having fun, our sharing the fun, because if we can create something that comes out of the fun that we're having, it's going to be fun for the people who are seeing what we're producing, who are, they will be able to participate to become part of it because they will sense that spirit of play that is characteristic of the organization that we have created. There's a game called Hot Hands, also called Slapsy, which I want to demonstrate. Uh, the man who is playing the game with his child is Stevie Wonder. Have you heard of him? And you know that Stevie Wonder is a blind person. And he's about to play this game, which as you will soon see, is very much dependent on people being able to see. Let's do it in slow motion, shall we, so you can see. Hit the hand of the person's before, oh, we can take it away. Oh, You could play it with three people or more than three. Or you could play it with just one finger. You got the idea here? That experience that you had was different than the experience you would have had if you just actually tried to play Slapsy the way it's taught. There was a difference because you chose the way you wanted to play it. And you knew you could play it any way you wanted to. So could you just take a moment to talk about with each other that you play with about that experience? It's not winning that makes the game fun. It's playing that makes the game fun. And to get that experience of play requires a certain attitude that we call playfulness. Playfulness. And that's a hard contract to establish, especially in, in this world, because this is, the world is getting harder of late, it seems to me. So if you can create, maintain, honor your own personal playfulness, then that invites other people to play and move back to the human level of what we were able to create together. Because the game is an illusion. The game is just an illusion. It's all pretend. The reality of the game is the experience that we have shared together. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed it.
advanced patty cake is based on the idea that we're going to play a patty cake game. We do not know how to do what the rules are. We do not know what we're going to do, but we do it anyhow. And we look as, as if we have studied this game and practiced it all of our lives. Observe. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you.